I was dyslexic at school and wasn't very interested in books. And then when I was 10, a friend was reading The Hobbit and I thought that was interesting. And so I read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings and just loved them. And I remember closing the book and just having a sense of loss because I was so inspired that you could create an imaginary world that felt so real, with its own languages and histories. And I thought, I want to do that. I want to make up worlds. This is the school I attended from eight to 18, St. Peter's School in York, the oldest school in England, with a famous old boy, the revolutionary Catholic Guy Fawkes. York is the second city of England, it's the capital of the North, the Queen's second son is the Duke of York. When I was a schoolboy, they were starting to discover the Viking remains of the old Jorvik, the old Viking city. This really sparked a love of, kind of the Viking period, the Viking language. And with Tolkien as well, because Tolkien was clearly very influenced by Anglo-Saxon myths and sagas. Growing up in York, it was really inspired by the, the northern Germanic Viking history here. The Battle of Hastings is the great creation myth of English nationality. And I originally envisaged one book looking at the Battle of Hastings, but as soon as I started examining the history, it was clear that you need to look at the kind of 50 year period. Therefore, the first book turned into three books. The first one, Shield Wall, tells the story of the Danish conquest of England in 1016. The next one is the story of Harald Hardrada, the Norwegian Viking king. And he is one of the three contenders in 1066. And then the last one will be the Battle of Hastings, which will examine the story of Harold Godwinson as he fights to retain control of England, which was the richest country in Christendom. One of the reasons I wanted to write about Harold Hardrada is that he's a footnote of history, someone who almost made history. He has the most extraordinary life for a medieval king. He flees Norway as a 15-year-old boy fleeing from battle. He's involved in the reconquest of Sicily from the emirs of North Africa. He blinds the emperor of Constantinople, which is the inheritor of the Roman Empire. And then, this is all before he's 30 years old, and then makes his way back to Norway where he's king. And in 1066, he decides to make himself king of England as well. All the characters I've chosen, Godwin, Harald Hardrada, I think their stories have been untold and I want to lift them from the footnotes of history back into the centre of their times. Mm -hmm.